welcome to another episode of the Pittsburgh Pirates franchise here on MLB The Show 18. We are here. We are here with the wild card game in the National League playoffs. Jameson Tayon on the mound against Sonny Gray. Can we get the job done today? Jameson Tayon has not been a very worthy pitcher on our team for the previous so many years, but he has grown into an elite pitcher this year. Can he keep that going here in the postseason? Look at Jed Jerko with a double and another double by Josh Bell. We'll get a run scored, and there's a hit. That'll get another run across. We have a 2-0 lead. Solo shot by Tom Wood will give us a 3-0 lead. There's a two-run shot by Jed Jerko after a Mancini walk, and a solo shot by Trevor Story. There's a solo shot for Eric Thames. That'll bring them back just a little bit, but it is a 6-1 ball game right now for James and Taya to hold on to. He gives up a double to Low Kane, and that is going to give the Brew Crew a two, two runs on the board. They get four runs on the board off of Hicks right there. They get a couple off of them. And it's a 6-4 game. Donahue in the game now, trying to get us through. He will get us through the top of the eighth. Bottom eight, and we got bases loaded. Can't get any runs across on that, but we are going to bring in new closer for the team, Taz Hobart. See if he can hold it down for us. He gets a runner on base, but gets out of it. Gets another runner on base, but we will win the wild card game. Jed Jerko will, of course, be the player of the game with the way he propelled us. So now Henderson Alvarez is going to take on Clayton Kershaw. As you can see, the other wild card game went in favor of the Houston Astros over the Boston Red Sox. So it'll be Astros, Yankees, Indians, Angels, Cubs, Nats, and we are taking on the Dodgers. And a solo shot for Man C is going to put us on the board against Clayton Kershaw. One nothing. There's a single and a run scored off of Tom Woods' bat, and some more runs coming in. As we are going to take a 4 nothing lead in game number two against the Dodgers. Henderson Alvarez just needs to hold us there. There's another single and a run scored. It's a 5 nothing lead for our Pirates. And a solo shot for them. That is Cody Bellinger. He's going to make it 5-1. Henderson Alvarez gives up a solo shot to the pitcher, Verduga. Is going to get a solo shot, and that's going to be 5-4. Oh, that's not the pitcher. That was a pinch hitter. My bad. Pinch hitter, but it is a 5-4 game right now. We still have a lead. There's a single and a run score. That'll make it 6-4. Donahue's got to get us through this. Yaziel Puig is on second. That We get out of that. It is 6-4. Jordan Hicks will get us through the seventh. We're going to try to get him through the eighth, but he's not going to be able to do it. Oh, so we we do get through with the next pitcher. It is six to four into the ninth inning. We are gonna bring in our boy, Taz Hobart. Ground out solo shot by Mookie Betts. Makes it six to five. He can't give up anything else. He gives up a single and a double. And that's a run score. It is six six. That is not good as LaCastro gets the double that ties the ball game. So we got to put Taz Hobart out of the game here. We are going to bring in... Who the hell are we going to bring in here? Maybe nobody. No, we're going to leave Taz. He's going to give up a walk. So now we've got to get rid of him. Guerrero gives up the double. That loses the ball game in the bottom of the ninth. 7-6. So now going into game number three, it is a 1-1 series. But we are home now. We did steal one road game. Should have stole two, but I'm not disappointed. But we do take a 4-0 lead here in game number three. The Bats are helping us out early in these ball games, But we need them to stick around the whole way because look how dangerous the L.A. Dodgers can be as they put up a three spot in the third, making it a 4-3 game. Andrew Heaney has got to keep us away from giving up these runs. Come on, Heaney. Get the job done for us. A double and a run score. He will give up the tie. Not what we want to see. Single. There's a double play. They get out of the inning. He gives up a triple to Yaziel Puig after getting a ground out by Nick Senzel. So now we're going to bring in Guerrero. The double play. That's going to help out big time. Now we're going to start some trouble here. We do get a run. 
and a lead and another run. So we have another 6-4. Is that a 6-4? Yes, I think we, we do have another 6-4 lead going into the eighth inning. Now to the bottom of the eighth. Guerrero still getting through strong. Mancini walks, then a double play. Trevor Story gets out. Now we're going to bring it in. Taz Hobart, he's got to get the job done here. As our closer, a line out, a single, a double play. We do win it. Tom Wood, player of the game with his homer. Now we move into game number four. We have that 2-1 series lead, I believe, right? 2-1 series lead? Something like that. So L.A. going to score first, 2-0. Then it's 2-2. We get the runs back. Kenta Maeda on the mound against Mitch Keller. And a runner thrown out. Well, that helps us big time because they would have taken a lead right then and there. We're going to take Mitch Keller out here in the top of the fifth. And two runs still going to score for L.A. So it's 4-2 to two as Donahue now pitching. We got bases loaded and a strikeout with bases loaded. Then a leadoff triple. So we're going to pull Donahue. We're going to put in Jordan Hicks. Single for Josh Bell. Another single and a runner thrown out at third base. That is terrible. So we move into the seventh inning. Hicks gets us out of it. Now we're going to take out Jordan Hicks. And we're going to pinch hit with Ethan Long, who's going to ground out anyways. Wood with a single. And he's going to get stranded there. So now we've got to bring in ooh, Guerrero. Guerrero gives up a double. Guerrero gives up a run. It is to 5-2. Guerrero has not been our friend in this series. So Guerrero still pitching in the ninth inning. If he's going to give up something, might as well let him go. And he gives up another run. It is six to two. We just we have no chance there. So we will lose that game and take it to the next. So we take it into game number four with a two-two, right? No, we take it. It, it should be. It should be game four. We have two wins, and I thought we had two wins. I'm getting confused as to what game it is because damn you MLB the show. Anyways, we have a 4-2 lead right here, and that's going to tie it up. Cody Bellinger with a two-run shot. 4-4. Four, four. Richie Kelton is going to come out of the game for Jordan Hicks here in the sixth inning in a 4-4 four, four game. This has been a really tightly contested series, regardless of anything so far. It's been super, super tight. So now runners on the corners. They will we will sack fly one in. It will be five four. We take a lead here going into the eighth inning. Bellinger with a solo shot. That's going to tie the ball game up. Not what we want to see. So Senzel and I can't really tell what that other guy's name is. Tolis? Tolis. Or both on base. But we get out of it without giving up anything else. So now Mariano Ojeda on the mound here. This is big. We got to get a win here to keep this going. 5-5. Five, five, bottom of the ninth. No success. We move to top 10. No success for them. No success for us. We move to top 11. Nothing. So we are going to pinch hit. Bring in Brendan McKay. We need some help from him. A ground out, a ground out, and a ground out. So that does absolutely nothing for us. So now Mookie Betts is up. And we're going to bring in Donahue. And he's going to get us right through the 11th. So, or right through the top of the 12th. So bottom 12. Nothing doing. Top 13 we are in now, and nothing going on. Top 14. 14th inning. They get a double and a run scored, and it will be 6-5 in favor of the Dodgers. So bottom of the 14th, we get a hit by a pitch. We get a single, which is going to put runners on corners. A walk for the bases to be loaded. A pop-out. We're going for the sack fly, and it's a strikeout. And then 
We let him swing away. We get a single and a run scored. So the game is tied. The game will continue. We go into the 15th freaking inning. And they get another run on the board with three straight singles. And now we need a run. So we got Guerrero on first base somehow. We're going to pinch run him for Ethan Long, who's fast. We steal a base with him. So we get a guy on second base, and literally nobody does anything. So the Dodgers will defeat us and win the series 3-1. Oh, we only won one game in that series? I thought we had won two. I don't know. I might have got confused with the wild card game. But anyways, it'll be the Cubs who win the series over the Nats in five. Taking on the Dodgers. And then the Indians, who swept the Angels, taking on the Yankees, who won three games to one against the Astros. The Indians win 4-2. They'll be in the World Series against the Cubs, who beat the Dodgers in seven games. And we got a 3-2 series here between the Cubs and the Indians. And the Cubs will take it in six games. The Cubs are your World Series champions again. We view the retired players. There's nobody coming off of our team. Let's just see if there's anybody extremely interesting. I don't see anything off offhand. You can let me know in the comments section below if you see anything. I see Justin Turner there. Um, but we have three free agents to negotiate with. Trevor Story, Andrew Heaney, and Jed Jerko. So this team could look very different next year. We'll see how the offseason goes in the next episode. What do you guys expect? As you see, we have no manager. Let me know in the comments section below what you'd like to see done with this team in the offseason. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Plenty more coming your way.